everyone welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel if you're new so in this video um, I want to talk a little about some ways that people can psychic attack or attack you with their energy without actually courting or draining you of your energy so I think some of the most common attacks that people experience is the experience of someone um, courting to your energy so sending out uh, sort of like siphons to siphon your energy back to them and then they leave you with their energy which is just always feeling very uh, exhausted de-energized because they're taking that energy from you in order to um, use it for themselves so you know there are other ways that people can psychic psychically attack without needing to drain other people of their energy so um the way that this typically works is people who are not trying to drain you always have, you know, some other kind of agenda. So uh, another common agenda that's not draining, but it's an agenda that people have when they're psychically attacking could be to kind of persuade you or um, convince you of something that you don't actually believe. So I'll go into the details of how they do this in a moment, but... Um, I want to go into some other examples of what kinds of things people can do. So, for example, maybe in politics or law, um, you know, they might influence you to come to their side or sort of um, push you out of whatever negotiation you were in so that they get the upper hand. Almost kind of, kind of like Frank in House of Cards where it feels like he's always kind of manipulating um, the people around him by just sort of not really giving them a chance to say no. But it goes deeper than that because what these people are doing is they are projecting sort of like their energy onto you. And how they do this, well, actually, first of all, another sort of way that people can use this energy, let's say it's not to persuade you in some kind of business meeting, it's actually to um, seduce you. So this can be dangerous because, you know, when you're faced with like a, sedu a seducer of some sort, you may think that you're feeling your own energy. And this is something that you want, but it might not actually be something that you want. It could just be that um, it's like a trap. So that's what these people do is they're setting a trap. So as far as the energetics of it is they're projecting their energy onto you, but the catch is that it's not really their energy. It's the energy of all the people's soul pieces and other people's energy that they've stolen over time that had this sort of glowing like for for example for the for like a seducer like oh you know he seems like so um, intriguing and there's just something you know special about him and um, yeah, I think he just, it seems like he uh, makes me feel really special or is really into me, something like that. So this kind of energy is not actually the seducer's energy. It's all the victim's energies that you're picking up on. And that's what makes it convincing. And that's another way that people can use stolen soul pieces is by um, tricking other people. Because, you know, when I meet someone who's really dark, oftentimes... Um, because of my experience with dark souls, I'll still like have a feeling that they're dark because I know what um, stolen soul pieces feel like. And so often like some the darker souls won't always f seem dark when you meet them. They'll seem actually kind of, um, I don't want to say magical, but they'll seem sort of uh, almost like dreamy in a sense, sort of intriguing, sort of um, different. But what you're picking up on is all these soul pieces from other people they've collected over the time that they've stolen that gives them the sort of interesting glow about them. So um, that's another way that people can psychically attack. It's not always courting and siphoning your energy and draining you, although that is extremely common. But this is another one I've noticed. So, you know, if you're trying to get back your enter your power in a business meeting or if someone is trying to you know talk you into doing something you don't want to do whether it's a seducer of some kind or um in a um 
some kind of negotiation. What you can do to stop this kind of projection and to get your energy back, or not really get your energy back because they're not taking it, but more just to um, reassert your own power and your own will, is that you can imagine kind of like, um, like a glass bubble coming down around you, sort of like a greenhouse or um, almost like um, an upside down fishbowl coming over you and then set the intention for that visualization that um, it will make you invisible to the person that's trying to um, like almost overwhelm you or um, convince you using the stolen soul pieces and projecting that onto you really strongly. You, you can't necessarily push, push it away because it's not actually them attacking your energy. It's them projecting the energy of the soul pieces and the stolen soul pieces around you so that you are fooled by them and they're more easily able to um, convince you or make you do what they want you to do. So setting up the invisibility um, barrier, or I guess you could call it a cloak, has been helpful in my experience. Um, Anything to just kind of deflect that energy. So just another thing to keep in mind. uh, If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I will read them and I will uh, respond if I can. So thank you for so thank you so much for watching today and I will see you soon. Bye.